we already know what prepositions are. So, a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Today, we are going to learn about some more uses of prepositions. The students apologized to the principal. Here, to is the preposition. Now, when I say apologized to the principal, I actually mean the action which is being done towards a person. So, this action of apologizing has been done towards the principal or the students apologized to the principal. The sentinelese are hostile to the outside world. Here, to is the preposition and it is showing the attitude of the sentinelese towards the outside world. So, to here means in relation to or with respect to something or somebody. Mark has no objection to his friend borrowing his car. Now, to is the preposition in this case as well and it once again shows the attitude or reaction towards certain action. So, here the attitude is no objection and it is in the direction or it is towards which action? To his friend borrowing his car. So, once again, to is giving us the sense of in relation to or with respect to certain action. Miriam is sitting to the right of her mother. Now, to is the preposition here and it is showing us a position with respect to a specific point of reference. So, if we look at this case, we see the point of reference is her mother. So, this is her mother and with respect to that, what is Miriam's position? Sitting to the right. So, to the right of her mother means this one. So, this one is Miriam and 2 is giving us the position of Miriam with respect to her mother. The author dedicated the book to her son. Now, here as well, to is the preposition and you must also note the verb in this case. The verb is dedicated. When we say something is dedicated to someone, we mean it has been dedicated in honor of that person. So, when we say the author dedicated the book to her son, we mean the author dedicated the book in honor of her son. So, whenever we dedicate something, a book or anything, towards some person, we use the preposition to. So, with dedicate, you will always see the preposition to is used. Most Indians adhere to religious practices. Now, here as well, to is the preposition and also the verb here is important, adhere. Now, with this verb as well, adhere, we always use the preposition to. So, when we use adhere and to together, they mean to believe or to follow. So, when I say most Indians adhere to religious practices, I mean most Indians believe in or follow religious practices. To her mother's great surprise, Alice has finished her homework. Now, here to is the preposition. And you must also note that here the preposition has been used just at the beginning of a sentence. So, the preposition can also be used at the beginning. It does not necessarily be at the middle all the time. So, here what is to telling us? It is telling us her mother's reaction towards the certain action. Now, what is the action in this case? Alice has finished her homework and the reaction to that is is her mother is greatly surprised. So, to is helping us to link that reaction to the action. He is an advisor to the king. So, here as well to is the preposition and the meaning of to is to serve somebody. So, when I say an advisor to the king, I mean that person is an advisor who is serving the king.
your dress is similar to mine. Now, in this case, the preposition is to once again and similar to. That means similar in respect to mine. So, when I say something is similar to another thing, I mean something being similar in respect to or with regards to something else. In this case, it is the dress. She got an invitation to the royal ball. Here, to is the preposition and it is giving us a sense of purpose. So, what is this invitation for? It is for the royal ball. So, to is giving us the sense of purpose. His clothes are torn to shreds. Now, here to is the preposition and it is showing us the outcome. So, the clothes are torn into shreds. So, they are torn to the extent that they have become shreds right now. It is only one week to Diwali. So, here to to is the preposition but the use is very different. Now here to has been used with respect to time and it is showing a time which is before. So that means it is only one week before Diwali or there is only one week to go before Diwali comes. So fill in the blank with appropriate preposition. We must not forget our duty dash our mother and the options given to us are to and by. Now here what do we see? We must not forget our duty dash our mother. If I say we must not forget our duty by our mother it does not make any sense. So our correct answer would be to. So, when I say we must not forget our duty to our mother, we mean the duty towards our mother. So, the correct answer would be to. So, today we have learned some of the different uses of the preposition to. Now, you need to practice more and more examples using the preposition to in order to see if you have understood their correct usage. So, we are going to learn about some more prepositions very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.